All right, so uniform capitalization rules. Under the uniform capitalization rules, you must capitalize the direct cost and part of the indirect cost for pr production or resale activities. So when we think about capitalization in this context, what we're talking about typically is putting something on the books rather than as an expense, as an asset. In other words, usually when we buy things, when we're thinking about our accounting process, when the money is going out of our checking account, it's because we're purchasing things and normally we just expense them when we pay for them, such as the utility bill, the phone bill, supplies, for example. But we have some of those things, usually the large purchases and then the inventory, where when we purchase them, the money goes out and we, instead of expensing them, put them on the books as an asset. We can call that basically capitalizing them, putting them on the books as an asset and they're on the books as an asset because we're not getting the consumption of them that's helping us to generate revenue in the current period, but rather we're in basically investing in something. We're investing in the inventory, we're investing in the property, plants and equipment, the depreciable assets, which will help us to generate revenue into the future. Therefore, under an accrual method, we would want to be expensing them as we consume them rather than when the cash was paid for them. So include these costs and the basis of property you uh, produce or acquire for resale uh, rather than claiming them as a current deduction. So rather than expensing them, we have to put them on the books in essence as an asset and then expense them in the future in the form of depreciation for fixed assets or in the form of cost of goods sold for the inventory. You recover the costs through depreciation, amortization, or cost of goods sold when you use, sell, or otherwise dispose of the property. So if it's inventory, we buy it, we typically put it on the books as an asset, inventory, then we get the expense when we sell it in the form of cost of goods sold. If it's a depreciable property, we put it on the books as equipment or something like that, an asset, then we get the expense when we depreciate it amortization would be intangible things that have a similar capacity or uh, process as with tangible depreciable property, amortizing them over the useful life instead of depreciating them. Same concept though.